to see and to witness. Thank you for another Christmas. Thank you for another day. Father, in such a season, so dear Lord, dear to the body of Christ, and we thank you, Father, that we are, it's happening right in your house. Blessed and be your holy name. In the name of Jesus, we pray and give thanks. Oh, come somebody in the house of the Lord. Let people feel loved. Appreciate it. Appreciate the worship team. Thank you so much. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. I said, walk around. It's Merry Christmas. Amen. Walk around. Let people feel loved, honored, appreciated in the name of Jesus. Tell them you are happy to see them. Glory to Jesus. Welcoming them in the house of the Lord that they may know that the Lord is good and that his masses are new every day. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, you are looking nice, you are looking glorious, you are looking blessed. Amen. Glory to Jesus. This is the beauty of Christmas. The gathering together of the body of Christ. Glory to Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Give him a celebration. Hallelujah. Yeah, celebrate Christmas. It's Christmas. Hallelujah. Celebrate the King of Praise. Oh, hallelujah. Let him know you are happy and you are glorious. Amen. Amen. The devil made an attempt 2019. It did not work. 2020 has not worked. Hallelujah. We had won the end of 2021. It has not also worked. Amen. And we are journeying towards 2022 and beyond by the grace of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Let, let, let me press this phrase. Let me see how best you get it. Let me see how best you get it. The devil is done until we are done. You have not. I want to see how you interpret it. The devil is done until we are done. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Do you know what it means? He can do nothing until we are done. He is done. Until we are done, he is done. Amen. Amen. They never thought it possible that the body of Christ will gather again. And especially on a Christmas, in a Sunday service. That's why we say it's free. Because we can simply and easily locate you. Give the Lord a crop offering in the heart. Oh, hallelujah. We, we wish to welcome those of us who are watching us uh, from the comforts of their travel and their holidays. Kasura Bahazush. Amen. Even as we are having our holiday and we are enjoying ourselves, blessed be the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Not the people doing their verses. No. No, it's the young ones. Because they have no time to visit their auntie. And of course, watch cartoon. Oh, do you miss church to watch cartoon? In the days of the Holy Ghost, what would Moses be doing now? 
who comes somebody in the house of God, tell them I can't see that person. Walk around, walk up somewhere. Tell them I'm happy to see you. Tell them I'm celebrating you, you are a great one. Hallelujah. Amen. Tell them I'm happy to see you. I'm happy to see you. I'm happy to see you. Yes, I got a machine of us on a man. Yeah, Jesus is Lord. Oh, Jesus is Lord. We give him praise and glory. We lift his name for who he is. We worship him for his fullness and his faithfulness. We bless him for what he is able to do and the things that he is able to do for us. And in the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. You can take your seat in the presence of God. Oh, we love you. We worship you, Jesus. We live you. If we can have more light, that would be nice, Alex. We can have more lights. That would be nice so that we can take care of us. Those of us who are watching us from the comforts of their houses and it's a nice thing to be in your house anyway amen praise the name of jesus amen welcome to the house of the lord amen oh, welcome to the house of god i thank you for coming blessed be jesus we 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 we, we don't want you to take offense at any one day what we are simply saying is sometimes freedom reveals character. Amen. If you want to, 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 to locate you in your maturity, you look at your expression when you are free. Amen. That, that's how you are able to know how, where this thing has got, gotten you. And, and I'm saying this because of the season that we are in. If you've been following, and because majority of you are traveled, and the beauty of our times because of technology, you really don't have to have traveled to have known much. That Kutembea Queen in Kona Meng is becoming irrelevant because of technology. Amen. You can travel to U.S. at the comfort of your phone. The one who has been to U.S. really can't tell you that he has seen a lot. Can only confirm. Uh, are we having a discussion now? But my point is, now you know that the revelation prophecy that and at that time, in the days of the beast, people will not be permitted to travel, to buy, or to do whatever they do without the mark of the beast is now a reality. And I remember us growing up and uh, I was so zealous that should that time come, I will not be at the mark. I'm not saying there is the mark, but we have a type of the mark and I'm going to pose a question to you. First prophet spoken in the Bible is not really in our time will not be one who is speaking lies from the scriptures. I want you to watch it. The Bible says something in the book of Revelation. It says that here is wisdom when he's talking about 666 and he says because it's a number of man. He says it, 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 it did not say it's a numerical number. This, it's a number of man. In other words, it is originated and bearing the wisdom of man. If you watch at the attempt COVID was trying to do, if you look at the attempt, if you look at the attempt, everybody thought from 2019 that Africa is going to sink. It will literally sink. 
right? Praise the name of Jesus. Let me remind you as we begin now to celebrate Christmas because this is all what it's all about. If for Leo, if for Leo, if for Leo, the security of man was in mask, Tanzania would be buried, dead, and forgotten. Talk to me. Because unlike us, they ignored the mask full throttle. And even if they are not speaking, the, I mean, social media is everywhere. We should be seeing this stuff. Why are we not seeing it? Talk to me. But you know now there, were, there has been several attempts pushed, even in our government structures, which was thwarted the other day, that everyone, for you to be around, to travel around, to visit hotels, to buy, must have vaccination. I'm not saying it's the mark. I'm simply telling you that's how the mark will be. Amen. How many of you are willing to walk or else get vaccinated? You're not going to be vaccinated, you're going to walk home. You, 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 many of you gladly received it. They were calling it the jab. And when we, some of us chose the route we chose, some were watching to see that we corrupt that. It's our third year we are here. Are you listening to what I'm telling you? The scheme of the enemy was that the body of Christ as we know it is cut out, cut off. But the body of Christ can't be cut off because it's not an agenda of man. The body of Christ and its gathering is not human agenda. It can't be stopped by human efforts. It can't be. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of Jesus. And uh, uh, it's such revelation and boldness that has made us, some of us, become and be when others are mourning all over. Because there is a revelation we are receiving and an understanding that we are receiving. And as I welcome you people in the house of God today, I want you to, as we begin now, to look at Christmas. Because we'll be sharing Christmas. An understanding of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Sometimes I ponder, I ponder, I ponder, I ponder a lot. I love science. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a scientist, but I love science. I'm, I'm, I'm fascinated. I mean, I look at science, and I don't see science in correlation with the gospel. I see science as a confirmation of gospel. Because if you can look at a stone, and from it tell the kind of culture that lived by looking at a stone, you can look at a stone, and stand the strata and know how old the stone is and know what people ate in that time by looking at the stone. I mean, how is it that you are not noticing the stone? No, you have not heard what I've said. Archaeologists stand the stones and from standing them, they are able to tell what the first man ate. That he was hunter and gatherer by looking at a drawing on a stone in a cave. But they are not able to see the creator of the stone. But they can look at the stone and see so much. It's, it's, it's what is called selective amnesia. Somebody not seeing Kara White in a green, but can see red. And the Pharisees were good in this. <laughs> Amen. Are you listening to what I'm telling us? No, no, no. Let's move away from even that. Let's think about the earth. Do you know why we have Christmas? Scientifically speaking, do you know why we have come here? It's because we have been spinning for 365 days to, to be where we are now. Right? Uh, you talk to me. We could not approach in December without moving. And you know the earth is spinning around the sun. Let's study that for a moment. I've told you I love science. Uh, from, from equator, the, 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 those of us who think we have not thumbed, now listen. 
the circumference of the earth from the entire the, from equator that is where it is i mean widest if i may use that term is 4070 kilometers the circumference is 4070 kilometers that is its circumference for us to have one rotation which we call a day it takes the earth 24 hours to rotate one rotation to give us a day we have been, we have we have rotated for 365 days to be where we are do you know we are rotating at what speed per day we are rotating at a speed of 1670 kilometers per hour that's how we are spinning and you are not losing balance now stop the rotation do you know at what speed we are traveling to approach in december from january because we are we are not just spinning we are also obeying Come on, talk to me. Do you know at what, do you know our roads are we are permitted to drive at what speed? Normal speed. Talk to me. Do you know what, what speed you are permitted to, to, move, to travel with? Ask my, my brother, oh come, sir. Happy to have you. Let's appreciate Pastor Mongi out of the way from the land of Kush. <laughs> Amen. Now you ask you, those of us who, who, are, who have what we call cruising machines, many of you have drive are driving cars. Which is okay, amen. It's, let's do not be offending. But this is my point. Naturally, in Kenyan roads, you do it at 100, 110 kilometers per hour. We are cruising the earth. We are orbiting at a speed of 107,000 kilometers per hour. Ngugu, open your things. Ngugu from Ngugu, Ngugu. Just Ngugu. That's the speed we, the, we are orbiting the sun at that speed you need to ask yourself the earth the, the sun itself is orbiting the galaxy way at what speed and all that is happening when it looks like it's so are you following are you following where i am that we can spin at 100 kilometers at 1,067, 1,670 kilometers per hour and you are not spinning off like you can see, you can see the Anguka. Amen. And you are not struggling to lift your No, talk to me. Amen. And you want to believe that the power that holds all that together is not able to sustain your life. That mask now. I'm not saying don't wear a mask. I'm just trying to tell you, see beyond the mask. Amen. Are you following what I'm trying to take you? See beyond it. It takes much more than a virus in a body to take out the human life. Amen. Are you listening to what I'm trying to put across to you? And demons of hell want us to believe that we are secure at home than in church. Demons of hell want us to believe that human beings should keep distance. We have an agenda. But I thank God for Christmas. Because this agenda should have come before Christmas. When we talk about Christmas, we're not talking about Christmas holiday. By the way, there are those even in religion who do not celebrate Christmas simply because they argue Jesus was not born in Christmas season. Now, if you are thinking like that, you are again lost. Because we are not celebrating the Mass. We are celebrating the Christ. <laughs> we are not in holiday. It's only that holiday is in our calendar. Write a few things. Let's, let's, let's write a few things here. <laughs> Was Jesus Christ born on 25th December? No. Why are you celebrating? Because you're not celebrating 25th December. That's why. 
Amen. There were many other people who were born in the same period. We are not going for their birthday. Can't you get it? Amen. Blessed be the name of Jesus. You understand? Why are we in church today on a holiday? Because we are not holiday makers. We are not. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Of course, it's time to interact because that's part of humanity. But as a human being, when you are born again, you begin to gravitate from humanity conscious to divinity conscious. You begin your journey. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Write a few things as we, as we, as we begin now to do an expose on Christmas. Just going to do a, a, a few in, expose on Christmas. It's Christmas that made Christianity possible. It's Christmas that made Christianity possible. Christ, Christmas is a place. It's not an event. It's not an event. It's more than an event. Christ, Christianity, I mean Christmas... When, 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 when the mind or the perceptions come into your spirit, when you think about Christmas, you're thinking about God's place. You're thinking about God's place. The placement of God among humankind. You're thinking about the placement of God among humankind. And therefore, for us to benefit deeply from Christmas, then a revelation must begin to bow in our spirit. There is more to it than exchanging gifts. We should be exchanging, because of Christmas, we should be exchanging gifts. We should not be exchanging gifts that it is Christmas. I I'm trying to put what I call cause effect into our systems. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Christmas made it possible for humanity to be connected with the heavenly. Until then, God's abode and human abode were two different entities. I say that one again. From the fall of man, the dwelling place of God and man separated. Christmas has brought that back possible. In Christmas, humanity and divinity have intermingled one last time. Amen. The marvel of Christ, Christ, Christmas is like the one I've just explained. How do you explain that we are in an earth that is rotating at that speed and when it rains, the rain does not miss the earth. Amvua yes kunyesha inakuta inji mepita. Uchakamata vile nasema. Inanyeshanga tu na inatunyeshea. And we are traveling at 107,000 kilometers per hour. Do you know what? Let me put it lower. Tio ukamata kabisa. Inasema we are moving at that kilometers per second. That's how we are traveling. That kilometers per second. Mikikwambia mbiguni ni mbali ukubali. Tumekua tukikimbia kwa hiyo speed na tujafika. Lazima uperekwe. <laughs> Hallelujah. If you stand it, go, I'm, I'm challenging you. If you stand it, how long it takes the sun to rotate around the, car, the Milky Way. Now, if I start using some terminology now, I have a challenge. <coughs> But I'm just trying to trickle your desire for science. <coughs> Sorry. The sun is moving. <coughs> I have some rain. <coughs> the sun is moving. Yeah. The sun is rotating or orbiting on what is called the Milky Way at a speed of 200. And 10 million light years. 
Do you know what one light year is? How many earth years? I'm trying to have you understand the capacity of God. Uh, so that somebody just telling you that Mother Nature, these things called Mother Nature, anybody trying to just show you about Mother Nature should lead a thing. When you look at science, the idea that man evolved should hold no water. And I'm just trying to explain to you some of these things. Blessed be the name of Jesus Christ. When you look at how the sun is rotating, the sun is rotating, the earth is rotating around the sun, and the moon is rotating around the earth, and there is no collision. Then I refuse to be confused in life. That's the truth. I refuse to be confused. So Christmas is a confirmation that that which is impossible with man is possible with God. You see why we are saying Christmas should be a constant reminder to any one of us waiting on God that it is not over until God says it's over. Blessed be the name of Jesus Christ. Then again, Christmas to us is a confirmation that revelation is progressive. In other words, man has not seen all of God. That's what we are saying. There is so much about God. Man needs to know. How many of us know Papa Abraham? How many of us love Papa Abraham? Let me see you. Okay, how many of us love God of, and, and especially intercessors in this church, feel powerful when they are praying, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, any time they mention those three names, it's like they have arrived in heaven. I mean, uh, there is such a consolation for such a revelation, which we respect, but can we interrogate it? In the days of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, how was God known to them? He was known to them as El Shaddai. That's how he was known to them. Hmm? Ever present. And therefore, he was their great reward. He was their pleasant help. That's how Abraham lived in tents. And that's how that revelation made Abraham reach the way he was. Amen. But there is more to God than that. How do we know that? The scriptures. Exodus chapter 6 verse 2. Let's begin from verse 1. Moses is having an interaction in... Mos in, in uh, all right. Give us King James Version. I, I love what you have just shown. As we go back there. But let's just take King James Version because you see. My, give us King James. Majority of the people watching and people in this church are King James oriented. Hallelujah. Which is right. Let's just read this. And God spoke unto Moses. Moses is complaining because Moses has also known El Shaddai. And so he went with El Shaddai to get them out of Egypt. And unfortunately, El Shaddai didn't make so he's coming to complain to El Shaddai why El Shaddai is not doing. I love Christmas. And because in the absence of Christmas, you'd have stuck, you'd be stuck with your El Shaddai. Hallelujah. So he comes to worship El Shaddai. And God says to Moses, he says, God spoke unto Moses and said unto him, I am not just El Shaddai. I am Yahweh. That's what the, that means. That translated the, the Lord. He said, I am Yahweh. Now, that Yahweh is not in the, is, is not in the Hebrew concotation. So, they can't say Yahweh. But anyway, let's move into what we are leading. Let's go to, let's go to, and I, look at this now. Read it together with me. And I appeared unto Abraham, and unto Isaac, and unto Jacob, the, the three guys, the three patriarchs. Says, he says what? I appeared unto Abraham and to, uh, and unto Isaac and unto Jacob by my name, God Almighty. But, talk to me. Let me hear you read. But by my name, Jehovah, Lord of hosts. Lord of hosts. By my name, Lord of hosts. The Lord of the camp. And he's saying, you need that camp to move. I must move from being a Shaddai to being God of the camp. 
Otherwise, they are going to increase in captivity. If there is going to be a movie, then the one that moves in the camp must be present. He says, I must now become El Shaddai. I mean, I must now become Jehovah. What is Jehovah? What is Jehovah? What is he saying? Say, he's saying, I am with them now in their camp. But you see, the church moved from camp setting into a body. Because that church of the wilderness, the called out ones, the ecclesia, the, the Bible calls them the church in the wilderness. But when he came to them, they refused him. Are you following this stuff? Blessed be the name of Jesus. And I respect the eye of the prophet. Because in those early days, the eye of the prophet, Isaiah, began to sort Christmas. What, does, what did he see? What did he see? Let's look at, let's look at the book of Isaiah. Hmm. Chapter 7, verse 14. Let's look at Isaiah chapter 7, verse 14. Mm -hmm. Let me hear you read. Let me hear you read. Therefore the Lord himself shall give you a sign. Behold, a virgin shall conceive. So Christmas, wait, Christmas is a sign. Come on, talk to me. Come on, talk to me. Yeah, it says... Therefore, the Lord himself shall give you a sign. Behold, a virgin shall conceive uh -huh, and bear a son. And you shall call his name Emmanuel, God with them. God with them. Look at Matthew. What does Matthew come to say? Matthew chapter 1 verse 22. Let's look at Matthew chapter 1 verse 22. Mm -hmm. Talk to me. We are there now. Uh -huh. Now, which was done, the body, all this Christmas stuff was done, read with me now, that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by the Lord, by the prophet, who, Isaiah, Karob uh -huh. say, let me hear you read, behold, mm, uh, behold, a virgin, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which interpreted is meaning that even Emmanuel, for it to benefit you, it must be interpreted. Ah, you. Come on, talk to me. Now, let's, let's move. I respect Isaiah, the Lord Jesus. That's why I'm converting to be a prophet. Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6. Look at this now. Let me show you now. We are looking at Christmas. We are just doing up some, some expose on Christmas. Look at, I know these people, I mean, you know this, 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 you see. Let's, let's, let's stand your revelation. Let's lead together now. For unto us, a child is born. Yes. So there are, there are many who are celebrating today because a child is born. As far as they are concerned, we have one in the merger. The major. Hallelujah. Silent night. They don't know we have woken up from the night. Paul says the night is far much spent. Be sober. But anyway, let's just stand where they are stuck. They know it's a holy night, but they are not seeing the holy one. Let's, let's. So they just make merry and miss the revelation. There is more than a child being born. Let's see together now. Mm -hmm. A child, and to us a child is born, and unto us a son is given. Uh -huh. And the government, the government shall be upon his shoulders. No, 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 no. He number one will have a government. If you read, it says that his government shall be without an end. But the government, I thought, it will be in his head. Why is the government in his shoulders? Why not the, the head? Why is the government in his shoulders? In other words, he's saying the structure, the structure of that government shall be on his shoulders. If you study Greek well, you understand he's saying at, at the pinnacle of the backbone, that's where the government will be. He's saying that the government will rest on the body, not the head. 
If the government will rest on the body, how many of us know that Jesus Christ is called the head, not the body? You are taking too much to arrive home. So if the government will be upon the body, no, 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 no. <laughs> now you see now why Christmas. Because without Christmas, there is nobody. And the, the dominance and the establishment of his government shall be carried on, executed by the body. So the body must come of age to take the demands of the government. That is not possible without a wonderful counselor. Because he's a master strategist. His name is not called Wonderful Koma. That's a typo. His name is Wonderful Counselor Koma. You have not heard what I've said. He is not Wonderful Koma, Counselor Koma. No, he is Wonderful Counselor. That translation, if you read from the original manuscript, it says, it means, it says strategic advisor. Oh God. We are on an advantage. That demons of hell cannot fathom. It's too much complicated. It's like I was trying to explain to you that we are traveling at a speed of 107,000 kilometers per hour. Nobody is chasing us. It shows you how, how, how extravagant God can be. Just to travel at that speed to just come back. Oh God. God can just make you rich just to give himself a name around you. Not that you can take care of your children. It's beyond that. Hallelujah. But thank God has moved his people from meeting needs if you think like that, you are really thinking too lowly. Jesus was not born in a major because the place was full. That was to fool those who are fools, fools then. You have not heard what I've said. Because a, a sheep cannot be born in a, in a rented house. Sheep are born. That's <laughs> yari it is following a prophetic decree. This, this happened so that what was? It tells you then that ones are not affected by seasons. Ones actually control seasons. So your season should not change because you're in Christmas. You're, you're looking at me now like Hallelujah. Amen. And uh, we were just in, interrogating in the days of Moses. It came to pass in the days of Jesus when he was walking in the, in the earth then because of Christmas. He became Emmanuel. Which is good. God with us. And God with us, he leads you. Right? From one place to another. And you have had this testimony that I woke up and trusted God. I didn't know where to go. But I trusted that you guide me and you lead me, which is good, which is true. But we are not just given a, a child. We also have a son. It's an expression of maturity. Because you see, we are progressing. Come and dunia in a song at our outer song. Hallelujah. Why am I saying this? Because of what I'm about to read next. Hallelujah. So who, who is Christ? Who is this child born in a major? Who is he? Let's, let's look at Hebrews chapter 1, verse 3. Give us an LT version. I want you to see something now. Hebrews chapter 1. One verse three. Let's leave there together. Let's go. I'm not hearing you read. The son. I'm not hearing you well. The son. Remember to us a son is given. So the son radiates God's own glory. And the and expresses the very character of God. Let's continue reading. And he sustains everything by the mighty power of his command, of his word. When he had cleansed us from our sins, 
When he had cleansed us from our sins, is that continuous present tense or past principle? Past past principle. Talk to me. Which one is this? Eh? So, so, as far as heaven is concerned, the issue of sin is dealt with. Anyway, let's go on. For a reason. He sat down in the place of honor at the right hand of the majestic God. We are, we are just trying to interrogate the character and the personality of Christ. Now, look at Colossians chapter 1. Okay, look at Colossians chapter 2, verse 9. Let's first of all skip verse 1. Uh, verse, chapter 1 is too much. Let's begin from uh, a rural level so that we can benefit maximally. Let's lead together now. For in Christ lives all the fullness of God in a human. Let me hear you read again. For in Christ, all the fullness of God. Okay, let's just try to interrogate a bit the fullness of God. Let's just try. Psalms 104, verse 1. Let's just try. Let's, before we come back here, let's just try to look at this. Good Lord. Let me hear you read. Let all that I am praise the Lord. O Lord my God, how great you are. Mm -hmm. You are robbed with honor and majesty. Let's go to let's go verse 2. Amplified. Give us amplified version. Give us. You are the one who covers yourself with right. Uh, 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 at, Papa God wakes up and he puts right the way I put a shirt. No, no, I want you to think about it. There is a dimension that they have tried. I am trying to avoid the technical term, but they did it in, in Arab, and it, they were only to, able to sustain it for 17 seconds, where, where, where they obtain what is called absolute freezing zero. Have you heard of such a thing? Have you heard of absolute freezing zero? Okay, at that level, you go and do your own study. At that level, light, light, light can be poured out like a drink. Understand it? Now, he's saying that that light, God is able to wear it. In other words, he can gather all the right, that's what he's saying, and put on the way somebody will gather us. If I, like now, if you went home to people look for this shirt, you will not find it. Because you see, I'm here wearing it. That's what he's saying. He's saying he can gather all the right and wear it like a jacket. So that there is no other place that is the right other than what God is wearing. I, I, I want you to understand whom we are dealing with. Who stretches out the heavens. Like a curtain. Do you know what it means? Do you know, do you know how expansive the heaven is? That the sun traveling at a speed of light, not to cover the entire heavens, just a part of it called the Milky Way, traveling at the speed of light. The sun, just Kusunguka Pandemonja, too, called the Galaxy Way, it takes the sun to uh, 220 million years and it has done that now the sun has done that five times since creation and that part of the the, the, the the milky way but god stretches the entire heaven the way when you wake up you open your curtain uh -uh. this guy is big hallelujah now let's let's look at let's, let's, we are just interrogating him we are looking at Christmas. There is a reason. There is a reason. I just hope we will arrive there. I just hope there is a reason I'm taking you this route. Your understanding of the scriptures is too shallow. It needs to be a bit deep. If you understood it well, you would be able to sleep in a storm. Jesus was not very tired. That's part of it. That's not the reason why he was sleeping. There was no reason as far as he is concerned for him to be watching the seas. But you see, when you are just a fisherman, one dependent of the sea, even when you are taken out of it, any change in the sea will cause trouble. When God has opened a door for you and you are promoted and you are employed, you keep watching your job. 
Because the moment is shaken, you are shaken. But if you understood that promotion does not really come, then you arrive to a place where you say godliness and contentment. Blessed be the name of Jesus. The older and the finisher. It means then that my future leader is not about my visionary. It has been ordered. Oh God, that I'm holding a script. Oh God. Ah. So why would I be confused and con feeling a, a bit left out that people went for party this Christmas and excluded my name? Hallelujah. Let's look at this guy. Who, verse 3, look at verse 3. Who raised the beam of the upper room of his abode in the waters, my God, above the vinament, who makes the crowns his chariots, the crowns his chariots, who walks in the wings, can we look at the next one? Okay. Who makes wings, messengers, Now, the, we are looking at the signature of God. When you want to know who, I mean, as in if you are to describe God, the way you describe to somebody how, a, how an elephant looks like. That's the psalmist view of our Papa. Now, take all that now with it in your mind. Let's travel back slowly into Colossians chapter 2, verse 9. Are you able to do that? Let's try now. <laughs> Let's try. Let's try to do that. Do you see why we preach so boldly? We are coming from a place. Amen. For in him, Jesus Christ, let me hear it. Let, let me hear you read. For in him, the whole fullness of deity, the total Godhead, continues to dwell in boldly, as in listen, listen, in Christ, in Christ, in Christ. There is no part of God missing. All of it, all of it. You know, you ask people when they go to heaven what, whom they will see. And, and I know many of you are waiting to see God the Father seated, the Son also next to him, and the Holy Ghost, that one you have not been able to trace <laughs> slowly. I know, I know it's a challenge. How many of us still think that's what they're going to see? Say it to please the Father that all of them should dwell in him. So who shall you see when you go? Thank you. Give yourself a clap of When Let me Look at why why is that? Why is that? Because of now, can we now try to take, with this in mind, can we take Colossians chapter 1 verse 19 now? Can we try? Let's try. Oh, oh. Read with me now. Let me hear you read. I'm not hearing you read. Eh? For it pleased the Father that all the divine fullness, the sum total, I want you to hear, the sum total, do you know, do you know, do you know what this, in other words, Christ is the grand total of Godhead. You have not heard what I've said. Jesus is the grand total. There is nothing else. Do you know what is called autosum? The totality of God. The way we know him is in him. There are religious folk who have a problem. Those who see Jesus as the son of Mary can't swallow this. Does this look the description of a son of man to you? Is this the description of one born of a virgin? No, talk to me. Mumenya masa sana ni yonkere sheni wapendo. Sinona kwa nini atukuli chapati? Tukona living chapati. You are eating the living bread. Amen. There is, there is a synthesis I need you to capture when we talk about. Now, we all agree that Christ is big. Eh? Eh? That without him, okay, John chapter 1 verse 1. Let 
me hear you read. In the beginning, before all time, was the word. Christ. And the word was with God. Uh -huh. Look at the next one now. I thought it, 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 I, 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 I thought the light, light rendering would have been it was with it was sent originally with God. That's good English. You should not read he was. Because now you are putting personality attributes into the word. Because in the beginning was the word. The logos. So so when the logos become one with a title. That's what we are trying to show you now. Let's go to the next one. He was originally with God. All things. That's what I want to do. All things. How many things? All. All things were made. And came into existence through him. Look at the next one. Without him. I'm not hearing you. Now, now, now. We know that Christ. Christ. Has all the fullness of God in him. We are, we are tracing Christmas. Why Christmas is so dear to us? So, to have to say, Christ, Arogama, Desapot Yarenda. So, don't go, you are the one It means when he moves, the entire heaven moves. Because it pleased the Father that all the fullness. We, we are okay with that. Talk to me. Are we uh, up to that? Are we? That in mind, let's look at this. Ephesians chapter 3, verse 14. Paul is praying a prayer for the church of Ephesus. And he, he, he says something. Give us King James Version now. Let's, let's try to do this. Amen. <laughs> For this cause, I bow my knees unto the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. This is the way to pray for the body of Christ. Those of us who are praying for me, stop praying that God may give me many years. This is the way to, if they can be many and empty, this is the way to pray. Amen. Yes. Amen. Of whom the whole family in heaven is named, and that is named. Let's go on. Why? That he would grant you according to the riches of his glory to be strengthened with might by his spirit. So you pray that I'll be strengthened with might, dunamis, in my inner man. Miracle abilities to cause changes is something you can pray that somebody should possess. My God. It's something you can pray that I carry in my spirit. Courtesy of your prayer that you can pray that Korea Masura Sata Parus Shakaya to be strengthened in the inner man. Rosaka Mahaya, with the dunamis of God, it's a transfer of glory that you are praying, Papa and God, let the virtues from your garment flow into his spirit to make him another woman. At attack him to a kuyumba, yumba, mana, uri, uri, cherewa, kulara, satano, satan, pak, sandi, yoni, sandi, satano, uri, daro, mecherewa, to go when neste, satano, abando, narara, yani, effect ya masama, wiri, ina ku, sumbua, wiki, mzima, you need to be strengthened. Become to become a walking, living machine. Strengthened in the inner man. Araso Prahamish. Ye makapos. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. That you can sorrow one song, an entire Sunday. One song. One chorus. One song. Natu mesonga. Hallelujah. Say in 10 minutes you have done 15 songs. And you are still guardian Jangoka Ukona Shida. Anyway. That Christ may dwell in your heart. That Christ may dwell in your heart. No, 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 no. That Christ may dwell in your heart. 
Christ who's all God reported to us in him. Now he's praying that that thing now be transferred into you. Oh, come on now. And you're still scared of a virus. Because you have Emmanuel. You can't swallow this. Paul is saying, I'm praying that he may dwell in you. He's not praying that he may dwell in us. Telling you that he is, he is praying from a place of experience. He's not praying from a place of desire. He says, I'm, I'm there. I'm inviting you to where I live. Hallelujah. That's why he was saying, the audacity to say, I can do all things. Hallelujah. All things, my friend, is not a statement you make because you wake up early. Hallelujah. It's a statement made by those who have arrived at a place, not those who know a place. Hallelujah. Know the difference between what you desire to carry and what you carry. They are not the same. Not the same. Hallelujah. 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 Nekoleira hadi mota ho ya kasioka na jana awe tora mi akayoka na jana anteru. There are dimensions of victory that's not a result of prayer. In your life. Like now, if many homes you visit now, you definitely get a chapati. It's not a breakthrough, it's a season. You have not heard what I've said. <laughs> what one breakthroughs in a style in kwa seasons? May this be your experience in God. Glory to Jesus. Kari ya pasura. Kaya masura hasish. Now we are trying to move and we are stuck here. We are, we are trying to move and we are stuck here. Ma. Paul is praying. He says, Paul is saying, I'm praying that by, because it's possible by faith that all the totality of God dwell in you by Christ. It's, it's possible. He says, the way is faith. Kaya. Masasha. Let's go on. That you be rooted and grounded in love. Let's go on. Of course, it may be able, the dimensions of the love, you know them. Let's move to verse 19 quickly. And to know the love of Christ, which passes knowledge, that you may be filled. That's where we were coming. Ah, no, no, I'm, 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 I'm waiting to listen. That you may be what? Filled. But we, we, we left at Christ being filled with all the authority of God. Now all the authority of him now is coming to dwell in men. The authority of it. And here people say, you see, I'm not a ninja. I wonder where you're coming from. And they have the audacity to see that from the pulpit. Because this is too big for them to swallow. This is too big for them to swallow. But do you know, this has been God's desire all the time. He has not desired to dwell in the mountain that men should visit him. He told Moses, I don't want to dwell in the mountain. Gather, build a place that I may dwell among them. <laughs> The last anumana kepanushata, the last event, the last event, recorded in the book of Revelation, the Bible says, and I saw Rakayama, the new Jerusalem, descending, oh, like a, like a bride, and I heard a voice say, now behold, the abode of God has come to be among men, and he shall be their God, and they shall be his people. Papa God has always desired that he may dwell. That's why David and the audacity by the eye of our psalmist to ask him, what is man that you are so mindful of him? He knew it, was, it was beyond comprehension. Paul knew that it's not possible to take it. That's why he was praying. He says, I'm praying constantly every day, Makata Kasanya, that you may come to that place. Yeah, yeah. Remember he's talking to his brothers. Who have seen Emmanuel? Hmm. Ah, he's trying to invite them. Christ, my Christmas is an, in a, in a, an, an invitation into higher realms of glory. Christ, Christmas is an, an invitation into a higher realms of glory. An invitation to higher realms of glory. Hallelujah. Are you listening to what I'm saying? What is, why, 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 when you are filled with all the fullness, what happens to you? What happens to you? Blessed be the name of Jesus. Can we read this and probably now go home? Hmm? 
<laughs> Look at John. John. John also captured this. John was also able to capture this. First John chapter four. Let's take from verse three. Uh, look at this. You have amplified. Yes. First John chapter four, verse verse three. Verse three. Let's just begin with verse three. Verse three. Verse three. Yes. John. John. First John. First John chapter four, verse three. Your Bible has that. Thank you. Uh, no, 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 that's here, this. Uh, another, another controversial area, very controversial, especially for those of us who are exorcists. Thank God I'm not. What I'm about what we are going to do, my people. Hapa, hapa ni mahari wengi wamekuwa masani. Na itanga mtu na kujua kama mepagawa na mwambia sema Jesus. Ati akishiru na kusema Jesus na njua iyo ni pepo. Yes, what you want to get my heart. You want to see the engine because I'm so many people. Now, my people, you're going to meet. I know my yes, to knock you. Sasa, come as the request in a semi, yes, to knock you. E crassy, I'm a pepper boy, is a monkey, yes, who will do our happy. Namana, how was that? You, how are you? 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 Because they will tell you, we know who you are. Jesus of so Nazareth. Uh, Demons would say that. So you can't argue now from reading this scripture that if it does not confess, that confession is not mouth confession. That confession is in manner of life. <laughs> that when somebody says he is of God, you are supposed to explore his manner of life. It will reveal whether that spirit is of Christ. That's what he's saying. He's not saying ask him. What makes you think that the demons will tell you the truth? What would you have given them to tell you the truth? <laughs> huh? <laughs> tell, tell your neighbor, upgrade your measuring gauge. Okay, now anyway, let's let's just let's let's just let's let's just move to this. No, <laughs> let's just move. Let's let's please. <laughs> let's, let's journey, all right? Let's journey, all right? Let's journey. It says, every spirit that confess not that Jesus is come in the flesh is not of God. And this is the spirit of Antichrist, whereof you have heard that they should not should come. And even now, all it is in the world. Now we move to the next one now. This is this, this where we are going. You are of God, little children. And I have overcome them. I want you to read that. And you have overcome them. Why, why have you been able to overcome them? Talk to me. Talk to me. Because greater is he that is with you. Talk to me. The, the one, the, where is the one? Great, the, where is the greater one? Huh? In you or with you? Look at Elisha, what Elisha told Gehazi. When Gehazi cried, Aras, master, we are finished. He said, you and who? <laughs> he said, open his eyes. And the Bible says, the man of God told him, greater are they that are with us. Remember, if Elisha was that powerful and he only had with them, he did not have in him. Oh God, you have missed that now. No, no, no. no he, he say, John is lighting to his children and he says, you are of God. In other words, your source is God. In other words, you are born again. You are of the created human spirit. Amen. You are not from sperm origin. So practitioner. You are born of the word. As a result, this is you have overcome them. Why? Greater is he that is in you. Greater is not the thing that you are smelling in. Do you think what he said? What defiles a person is not what he takes in, it's what he takes out. You you don't want to die this season, in the season of COVID. Then watch what you are taking out, not what you are breathing in. You have, you have missed me again. Watch your mouth. What is coming out, not what is coming in. He said, do you know what spoils a man? <laughs> Greater is he 
that is in you than he that is in the world. Greater is he that is in you. Says you have overcome them. As long as he's in you, let them do whatever drama. You know the results. That's what he's saying. Greater is he that is in you. Hallelujah. Amen. Wana, wana wanyi tora tora uga wapendwa. Otiga agotwe katuka kwa tukara kari tayi yokona kwe nukuru kwe nyakinjega. Uga tuweka mutara kwa wari banono. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know now you dictate the seasons. There is no beating that can bend you. Hallelujah. Ndreza kula tuko te kuna mai mena ovuroko. Noe ovuroko comes. That's too much. If I say that somewhere else, I'll be kicked out like you see. But I thank God for having called me. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Tohana metara koya libanono. Hallelujah. Ireto ikoho tone ito. How are we arrived there? Greater is He that is in us. Because of Christmas, He can dwell in us. He can dwell in us by Christ. He can dwell in us. Paul was praying, let him dwell in you richly. In other words, let him not just be in your heart. Never go to the temple. Come to the temple. Come to the temple. Come to the temple. Come to the temple. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't carry Christ only in your heart. Let him be part of your hair. Amen. Amen. Be filled. Be filled with the fullness of God everywhere. Be filled with the fullness of God everywhere. Be filled everywhere. Be filled everywhere. Let even your shoe capos. Hey, Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Yeah, when you look at this, these big actors, trucks, these that do interstates, uh, when you put it on, you give it time to boot up. Hallelujah. Okay, can you break it? Hallelujah. And I can't do it. You can't do it. You can't do it. You can't do it. You can't do it. The Bible says, and Paul, being full of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Don't leave your house until your eyes are full of him. Hallelujah. When you look at a person, you sing fire. Karabrazish. Don't wake up and, and dare to walk out when your eyes have not even warmed up. Hallelujah. Uyo yesu waroho. Uyo utaona vila utaona. Watch. You may not defeat it. COVID with Jesus of the heart only. You need Jesus in your very veins. Hallelujah. You really understand where I'm, what I'm talking about? You, everywhere, every fiber of your bone, with the proroma of God, because of Christmas, that has become possible. Hallelujah. That God can dwell in a man. And not just well in a man, but boldly in a man. Don't you know that we have become participators of the divine nature? Do you know what that means? We have become God kinds. Participators. We have a commonwealth. Do you know what, what do you know well, do you know what is a consortium? You know, you know, you know when great invest, investors do an, an, an arrogation. To come up with one grand winning style. We, we, we have come to Mount Zion. Not to ask God why there is COVID. But to say what should COVID do? Not do. Don't you, have you read where Paul said we have decided and consulted me and the Holy Ghost? Uh -uh. We have consulted. We have consulted with the Holy Ghost and we have agreed that the next year should be good year. Amen. Amen. So as a result, even the one who will be elected can only walk that way. We don't have to have a born again, a born again president. Because even Caesar was not born again when he said God rebuilt the walls of Jerusalem. Are you understanding what I'm saying? Hallelujah. Our governor, we are praying that he be born again. Because when the leaders are godly, the land is at peace. You understand it? But we are not saying that things are going to be proper in this county because our leader will be godly. We are saying because we are godly. Uh, 
let's look at the last one, probably blames. Yes. Do you love Jesus? Huh? Do you love Jesus? Uh, that he meant to, it's, it's another mystery that all God can, it can dwell in you. It's another mystery like the earth can speed 107,000 kilometers per hour. Science have no problem believing that. They have a problem believing this. Now, which is easier to believe? No, when you think, when you think, let not people think for you. Sometimes you need to sit down and ponder. That's why the Bible has a, a, a phrase called seller. Seller is not believing. It's not for believing. Seller is telling you, pause. Think. Hallelujah. Look at, look at, Look at look at First Corinthians chapter one verse thirty. This is me. First Corinthians chapter one verse thirty. Thank you for this. Give, give, give us an NLT version or amplified NLT. Give us an NLT version. Huh? Let me hear you read. Let's first of all settle that. In Christmas. You and Christ have been brought one. Right? But as if that is not enough, look at the next one. For our benefit, God has made Christ, I mean Christ, Sophia, all the embodiments of wisdom. I refuse to be stupid. That's why I'm quoting some stuff. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For our benefit. Mother dia kara kona tu moro ida wito nchos by nego kara du da mono. Nenega da te te ke Kristo aga tu eka oge wode aga soka ko ya Kristo aka muikira. Aga kara aga kara Kristo de inwa nchos by nchos by ni aga kia. Aga kro mundo atonya ko nengo makagoro kai. Alleluia. Otonya ko ni Kristo ati oga tu mana. The one who is present at every conversation as a silent listener. The unseen guest. <laughs> but he's still the head of that house. <laughs> <laughs> Give the Lord a shout in this house. Oh, Father, we thank you for those of us who are watching and have been following us on the platforms, dear Lord, that you have established. And we are saying together with them, indeed, it's a Merry Christmas. And thank you for the gift and the mystery of Christ in Christ. Christmas. And thank you that we are born again. Thank you that we have known you. Thank you that we have received you. Thank you for the increase in revelation, Father, that you have bestowed upon us, making us more than conquerors. And we thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus. Thank you. Give Christ a celebration. Give him.